A world without chocolate. It's not a world many could imagine. But take some time to imagine this. Many of the people who grow the cocoa we eat have never tried chocolate or even drunk the creamy hot chocolate many of us know and love. Having grown up in the UK, I know the power of chocolate and the love so many of us have for all the different forms cocoa can come in. My father, a Tanzanian citizen, had always instilled the importance of us giving back to Tanzania. My mother, who has invested in Tanzania for many years, worked in logistics for the UK's largest postal service, gaining her class of one in lorry driving and understanding the complicated process around the transportation of goods. And my sister, a head pastry chef and chocolatier in London, who has trained with some of the best chocolatiers in the world, travelling and training in Lyon, France, Japan and London. So we all started to invest our time, money and skills in the process and we started thinking, why when cocoa is being grown in the village is there no value addition happening there? Why could we not find powder, butter or nibs being produced from this amazing organic superfood? Did a sustainable value chain exist? Or could one be created for cocoa that not only supported only the farmers, but the wider cocoa growing community? How were their livelihoods being protected from the changes in the climate? Why was chocolate not being made in the village? So we started the journey to find out. When my father and I first visited a cocoa farm in Kiela, Tanzania, we had heard that they were growing cocoa, but like many Tanzanians and people from the diaspora, we had never seen cocoa growing. Here started our journey, when we heard the stories of farmers. And as I travelled back to the UK, my father stayed, building relationships and showing people what was possible, many of whom at first thought his vision was unrealistic. Mze, old man, talking, talking, and talking. But what he was doing was planting the seed of hope, the seed of possibility in the minds of farmers and stakeholders. The seed that the value addition process can be brought back to the village and farmers and Tanzanians can reclaim the value chain. And then he met Mababu CCF, a cooperative in Kiela producing high quality double fermented beans who also shared this similar vision and had been making powder from grinding their beans. And together, we started working to bring innovation to the village by developing an industrial park, a food innovation hub, and further developing the local entrepreneurship ecosystem. <laughs>